do you see anybody, any true freshman uh, helping out? Yeah, there's, um, it, it's interesting you said, I know of two guys that, that we recruited definitely okay. as a, as a tight end. Yeah, um, maybe I'm getting mixed up with defense. Okay, but two guys that we recruited for Shirley as a tight end in, in um, I'm not sure if I can say their names or not. Yeah, they're yeah. Okay. okay. So, so. I just want to make sure I don't want to screw anything <laughs> up. But, uh, but Noah Fant, who's uh, you know was the top player in Nebraska, uh, coming out of Omaha South, and then also T.J. Hawkinson, who you guys from Iowa should know T.J. He broke a, uh, the all-time leading, all-time receiving record here in Iowa uh, as a tight end. And we're excited about those two. And there's a couple other guys coming in that that we're not sure if they're going to be tight ends or not. We'd like to, uh, but you know, I think other positions dictate whether or not they can play tight end or whether they need to play on defense. If those guys are going to steal them from me. Where is John in his development? John was John Wisniewski. John's coming along, right? John's taken a big step from I think last season till till now. And uh, I think going into the last year, he he kind of assumed that he was just going to fall right in line because he's the the next tight end at Iowa. And I think that sort of uh, set him back a little bit last year. That he's he's been tremendous the last. You know, since the season ended till now, he's been awesome, and he's doing very well. He's making his way and, and uh, just out there competing every day, and we'll see see what happens. But he's putting in some good work. He's been great in the meeting room, great on practice, and uh, see where he comes There's, out. We have two guys that are now on and that's uh, Peter Picar and uh, and Nate Weeding. And again, if you came in the room, you wouldn't know if they're on scholarship or not on scholarship because they both have tremendous upsides and uh, uh, bright futures. And uh, you know, I, I don't want to put that label on them, I guess, but the I think they both have a chance to really emerge this year.